Hi, this is Andrew with PandaComputers.com and welcome to our video series on Windows XP. This is a quick tip. We talked about add-ons for Internet Explorer, so of course we thought to talk about add-ons for, uh, for uh, Mozilla Firefox. Now they are different, so if you have a new program and you do something, you're going to have to configure the add-on based upon which browser. If you use both of them like I do, you're going to have to uh, configure both of them. Okay, so let's go ahead and start Microsoft Firefox here, and I'll show you where they are and how to disable them. Okay. If we go up here, we pull up our Firefox. We're going to the top here. We're going to find bookmarks and tools. 90% of everything on there will be under tools, and there's our add-ons. And they are quite simple. Now, from time to time, as there's a new update, you may want to go in here and remove an add-on, or add an add-on, or somebody will say, hey, add this add-on to Firefox, and it'll do this for you when you go search on the web. Okay? There's different kinds of out there. Now, right here, it shows that I don't really have any add-ons. Sometimes an add-on will be called a plug-in. Plug-ins are a little different, but they're similar. This is also where you'd find plug-ins that are online. What do plug-ins do? Plug-ins and add-ons are, are kind of the same thing, but a, a, a plug-in is something that connects a program to the Internet. For example, DivX Web Player here means if I go onto the Internet and I find a file that's a DivX file, this plug-in or add-on automatically goes and starts my DivX player on my hard drive that allows me to watch that video. It knows how to connect that file to what program. And you have them for Microsoft Digital Media, for streaming, for Acrobat Reader. Sometimes an add-on is a little more complicated. Instead of this just generic programming, add-ons are more for things that are specific like Webmail Notifier add-on, MySpace, Facebook. Um, you can put add-ons for your email. Uh, you can put them for different websites. It tells you when it updates. You can put ones for uh, uh, you know, you get tweets and stuff from Twitter. Add-ons are cool, but once again, like I told you in the Internet Explorer video, be really careful. Uh, don't put a bunch of them on there. The more connections to the Internet you have, the slower it is, the more CPU cycles and memory it eats up. Okay? Don't seem to be like a broken record, but the biggest complaint I have in my computer store is, my computer's so slow, why? Well, you dump all this stuff on it, and this is what happens. Okay? A lot of times it's unintentional. doesn't mean you're a bad person. You just have to know what you're doing. So that's how you manage your add-ons. You go to Tools. You go to Add-ons. Once you get in here, you can delete them. You can add them. You can remove them. You can deactivate them. That's it. Add-ons for Firefox. If you don't use Firefox, there's a video in here for Internet Explorer. Have a great day.